I, as a parent of someone with Down syndrome, I just uh, find this arms race for new te- technologies a bit upsetting. I find um, that we're forgetting that uh, we, we talk about Down syndrome and that's kind of dehumanising. We need to remember that we're talking about people. And I think the current narrative about Down syndrome, for whatever reason, is, uh, uh, is treated as a tragedy and um, a, a terribly sad thing. Whereas, in fact, my experience having Ollie, I mean, when the doctor told me Ollie had Down syndrome, he said, I'm sorry, and the nurse cried. And that was 11 years ago. But um, you hear those stories still today. This is when he was born? When he was, when the diagnosis, which was slightly after birth, yes. So what information so, did you have during pregnancy? During pregnancy, nothing. All the information you're given is uh, uh, in leaflet form. And I think that's a bit like, you know, if you're somebody who reads the instruction manual for your new video, then you read the leaflets very carefully. And also the information that you are given is all a list of medical comorbidities. So you're given a list of... Down syndrome is described as... Mm-hmm. Uh, possible health complications. So, for example, in your general population, uh, one in a thousand people might get leukaemia and the Down syndrome population might be one in a hundred. That's significantly raised, but that's still 99% of people with Down syndrome don't get leukaemia. And uh, obviously there's no... uh, Because the doctors are the people who are conveying the information, it's it's all medical and there's none of the uh, positive stuff. So... Are Are you saying that we shouldn't screen at all for Down syndrome? Well, I think that is a question, to be honest. I mean, we need to think as a society. I mean, we're signed up to various human rights acts. We're um, we're we're hoping to move towards a more inclusive, uh, a more inclusive society. We do have to ask the question. You know, if you if you if you think of uh, people with Down syndrome as being a particular race, then it's utterly unacceptable, isn't it? I do, I'm not. I'm not saying we should definitely go with that. I think there's just a very strong argument, and a debate does need yeah. to be had. People with Down syndrome have never been included in the debate. They've never been asked, because of course it's preposterous to ask somebody with Down syndrome who they tend to really enjoy their lives whether or not they think they ought to have a life. Yeah.